Hi, welcome to Cubase 4 tutorial, and this time I'm going to be talking about creating presets in VST Mixer. My starting point is a template that I created for a recording band. I have 16 channels here, and they're all divided in three different folders. And I have my mixer here. This was the mixer uh, initial, the input mixer. So since I've done the recording part, uh, I want to get rid of all these compressors and move on to the playback side. But before I actually do any of that, I'm going to actually create a view set. A VSD mixer provides us with this feature that's called view set, and it's stored within the project. So this feature is per project. It's not a global feature. So what it allows us to do is create the view that we want to use. That way we can call up if anything changes. We can just simply go here in the left corner and and recall that view. So this is only for the view, right? It does not influence anything that's loaded here or any faders that it might have been actually changed or anything like that. In order to preserve computer power, I want to unload these compressors because I'm not going to be using inputs anymore. So I'm going to load old mixer settings, something that I created previously, which was the empty VST mixer, and just simply flatten everything out. And now I'm going to switch the view and go to the playback side. Also, I can actually click these two clicks or maybe do something else depending on the, how the view will be set, but I can just simply create my view set for the playback side or for that matter any any other view set that I need and just store it. Again, it's stored per project. And in the left corner I actually have two options. And I can simply move back and forth, you know, between any view sets that I have available. All right, so now I'm mixing and I have plenty of stuff going on and things are changing. I'm changing the position of, of, of the pan pods. I may be using the attenuator. Maybe on the base, I actually need to load an additional compressor, pull back a little bit, and do whatever else is needed. Maybe add some uh, EQ. So as my work is progressing, I'm ch constantly changing things. In order to be able to go back and recall stuff, I need to save my uh, presets, actually create my presets, save my settings. So I'm going to go to save all mixer settings. Well, that will include every possible thing that you see in the VST mixer, no matter what view you have. So uh, the format is VST mixer setting. And I'm going to say it's my band XYZ. And I can put the date there. I can put the take or, or say, uh, mix down, number, whatever, whatever I need to set uh, so I can remember what it was. And I can go back and forth in time and actually really, if I don't like the mixing that I've done, I can just go back, for example, and use my VST mixer empty and just start from scratch. Or go from session to session, from day to day of mixing that I've done and having uh, flexibility to actually load and listen to different mixes. Now that all falls to the all mixer settings. For example, I did something specific on the bass and I want to save just this particular thing, right? Uh, I loaded a compressor, I changed here uh, the attenuator, or, or I maybe even did something with, a, with, with an EQ, right? There are two ways how I can actually save select the channel. From this view, I can do here, save select the channel. The same thing is applied, uh, is available from the, from the VST mixer view. And say this is my base DI and then put the date or whatever else that will make it distinctive from, from, from other settings. I can go back and forth and then just load and reload that specific channel. Working with actually channels, it's really neat because it provides me with a general setting for the whole strip, but also provides me with the possibility to, to create my presets or use the track presets per insert or EQ. Sands, however, don't have any presets. They, they can only be saved as a general, uh, as, a, as a selected channel setting, which means saving the, the whole strip. For example, on the insert side, whatever preset I create, it's going to be loaded here, right? So if I change setting and I want to store that, it can be simply 
stored here, and I can always go back in time. I can remove the preset the same way, load the previous one, remove the preset, or I can choose the track preset, which are the provided presets in the Cubase 4 by default. Now here is an important tip. Regarding the storage and the manipulation of the storage, we need to know where it is. The user presets are loaded in the application data folder for, for Windows users. And for Mac users, it's in the library application support. And then you search for Steinberg and track presets folder. This is useful to actually uh, save and back up all of that data so we can reload in any computer that we work or if we have to reinstall the whole computer, we, we can actually preserve all those presets. This will conclude the tutorial regarding the VST mixer and the presets and see you next time. Thanks for joining us.